Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is uh, going over one of the simplest upgrades you can do which is to add an extended range battery to your Meepo V3. Now this modification will extend your range from about 11 miles to 20 miles and then some. Uh, but if you're like me and you didn't order your Meepo V3 with the extended range battery included, uh, you're going to have to pay the piper uh, to the tune of about $300 right now. Um, which means you order the battery, Meepo sends you a battery, and then you have to do what you see here. Uh, so first we got to carefully take this cover off after removing the nuts on the six screws. And I say carefully because you don't have a lot of leeway with this cable. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and unplug this uh, so we can begin removing the battery itself. Uh, now the wires are held down by uh, wire ties, so you're going to want to carefully clip those. Here we'll go ahead and unplug the, uh, the, the lead to the USB port as well as the charge indicator uh, and carefully remove the battery, noting that it is packed in there pretty tight. Um, and here we can see uh, the comparison between the standard range battery and the extended range battery. Damn, boy! Damn, boy! He's thick! Boy! That's a thick ass boy! Damn! And if you're interested in the specs alone, uh, feel free to pause the video here and sort of uh, have a look at all the, the different metrics and, and specs here. So one of the most frustrating things about upgrading to the extended range battery is that you have to try to remove uh, the padding that seems to just have been haphazardly added into the enclosure as needed. Uh, you want to be careful removing this because you're very likely going to have to reuse some of this uh, to pad the, the newer battery even though it's you know bigger it's going to consume more space. Uh, you want to make sure it's held in there um, pretty tight to where it's not mo moving around because uh, you wouldn't want to hit a pothole and then uh, break the spot welds on the battery pack itself. So here I'm just reconnecting the USB port as well as the charge indicator button um, and I'm going to I'm going to resecure these cables here because um, as mentioned uh, there's not a ton of clearance inside this enclosure especially with that extended range battery in there uh, so you want everything uh, as tight and neatly packed away uh, as possible. So here we're basically going to undo what we did. We're going to plug the battery pack back in. Um, and here's where it gets a little bit dicey because you have to flip this enclosure over while holding everything inside of it and also try to hide the uh, port connector down there. So it took a, a few tries and a little bit of finagling, uh, but I was able to get mine uh, resecured. And while these bores aren't waterproof, uh, you want that enclosure to be as close to the, uh, the maple deck as possible to try to keep out as much water as possible. Uh, so quick spot check before I screw things in, we can see that the battery is reading. Uh, it is also reading at 100%, which is great. So I'm going to put these nuts back in. Um, and with that, you're, you're basically good to go. Now, if you're a fan of uh, little electric toys, much like this skateboard, I would say, if you haven't already, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I did just buy a new little quarantine project in the form. Uh, this little Razer MX500. I got a stellar deal on this and while it does run it does need a ton of work so I've gone ahead and purchased upgraded components for the entirety of the system. I'm going to take it down to the studs and rebuild it uh, with a new 2000 watt motor um, and I'll definitely be shooting videos of that and publishing those so if that interests you go ahead and hit subscribe. Thanks. 